हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू द सिविल इंजीनियरिंग यूट्यूब चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल फॉर मोर सिविल इंजीनियरिंग वीडियोस टुडे आवर लेक्चर इज अबाउट द इफेक्टिव लेंथ ऑफ द कॉलम व्हाट इज द इफेक्टिव लेंथ फर्स्ट आई विल डिफाइन द इफेक्टिव लेंथ इज द लोड इट्स ऑन फॉर एग्जांपल कंसीडर दिस इज अ कॉलम एंड कंसीडर दिस द लोड पी इज एक्टिंग ऑन दिस कॉलम अलोंग द एक्सिस ऑफ द कॉलम सो व्हाट विल डू दिस कॉलम we consider is the long column because the effective length is always of the long column so when the load acts on this long column it will deflect it will buckle and this position like that it will move from its own position due to load and similarly this case it will also move from its own position this will also move from its own position but in the different can but in the different way so effective length of the column is the distance between the successive successive inflection points this is between successive inflection points so this is the one inflection point this is another inflection point this is the one inflection point this is another inflection point so this distance we call is the is the effective length this inflection point this distance this distance because the it shows the a change of the slope so the distance between two successive inflection points like this as i showed this distance is called as the effective length of the column right and effective length of the column uh is usually represented by uh, the k or not sorry the le i will write it here the effective length of the column is usually represented by le or uh, le and le is equal to the kl right so considering the first effective length of the column when the two ends of the column is pen ends so it will move it will defl it will buckle on the uh, even the load applied in this way buckle in this way so this is now the effective length of the column the distance between two inflection points is a one inflection one inflection so how much this length will be i consider this is the original length of the column is l is the original length while the effective length will be also equal to l it means the k value here is 1 because l is equal to kl and k is 1 in this case the whole is the effective length is, is the original length now in the loads applied on the fixed end of the two fixed end of the column what will happen it will not move in the fixed position but it will start deflection start buckling in this way the fixed end will not move so the effective length will not be as much as the uh, is it will be not as much as compared to the pen ends so how much is the how much will be the uh, uh, effective length its effective length will be 0.5 l it means the k value in this case is when the two ends are fixed k value is 0.5 half of the pen ends because the two ends are fixed to this portion the two fixed end will not move only this distance will move right so the effective length will be less as compared to the this one uh, the pen ends in case of the pen end and one end is fixed in so it will not move in this way but it will move like that the fixed end will not move so what the effective length is now high is the fixed end the effective length here in this case is the 0.7 l in this case the k value is here 0.7 this is the third case now is the last case is the uh, is a, like a cantilever when the one end of the column is fixed and the other end there is no there is free end in the other so it will move it will deflect like this way so how much is effective length it's effective length change from here effective length will be equal to the as effective length will be equal to the l e is equal to the 2 of l the twice of the original length so k value will be equal to the 2 because here k is 2 this was all about the effective length of the column the smaller the effective length of the column the more smaller is this effective length of column right so the more small is the effective length of column the more stable and it will not be buckled easily as compared to the other ones the more smaller is the effective length the more stable the column will be this is the most stable column because the effective length is less then effective length is that one 
0.7 is the list is the list effect length after the fixed range so it will not be buckle as compared to the other scholar and then coming is the first one is the second and is the third most stable the two ends are fixed at uh, the pin ends so it will not buckle as compared to the free ends so this will be the most stable as compared to the free fix, fixed and free ends this is the third one and this is the fourth one according to the stability so the more is the effective length the more it will be buckle the less the effective length the less will be the stability so effective length is directly proportional to the stability buckling buckling is the less effective length the less will be the buckling condition and less and more will be stable and i hope it helps you and please subscribe and share with your friends uh, our channel and thank you for watching our video